Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Pathway Channel. Today, we will discuss the ischemic necrosis or the hemorrhagic ischemic necrosis. And as we can see, this slide is for the small intestine. And the ischemic necrosis can happen in many cases, like in any arterial uh, occlusion, in any venous occlusion with stasis, in uh, intestinal obstruction that we might see in strangulated uh, hernias. And for the microscopic picture, as we can see here, I tried to adjust this slide just to see the demarcation between a healthy or partially healthy uh, intestinal wall and the ischemic or the totally ischemic uh, part. So I will start first describing this uh, healthy or partially, I will call it as partially healthy uh, layer. So this is the mucosa, which is composed by the epithelium, by the lamina propria, and the muscularis mucosa. And then we have the submucosa, which is this uh, area, which is edematous. In this case, see here this uh, edema. And then we will go for the muscularis uh, propria and then the serosal layer. So these are the four layers of the small intestine. If we started from uh, the top here, we will find as you I hope you can appreciate this. You will find that the, uh, this surface mucosa, it's as if it's dissolved or it's destructed, it's damaged uh, because it cannot have uh, its nutrients, sufficient nutrients. So this is the surface uh, um, uh, destruction of uh, the mucosal uh, layer. And uh, if we go through the whole slide here, you will find the same thing happening all over. And this is what we call, sometimes they call it as a pseudomembra pseudomembrane that is trying to be formed uh, over this uh, dissolved um, mucosa. Uh, I'll try to show you other thing here. Also, another feature that we might appreciate, the lamina propria will start to uh, have some hyalinization. As you can see here, these are all hyalinized material that starts to form in the lamina propria all uh, through. And of course, you can see this is um, uh, congested lamina propria and congested uh, submucosa. Let's go uh, to the completely damaged uh, area here. And before going to this completely damaged area, because it's only composed of hemorrhage, so it's all hemorrhagic necrosis, as you can appreciate here. It's all hemorrhage and highly vascularized uh, submucosa. I will just go on a high power on this area to show you uh, the crypt uh, weathering or uh, how the crypts, they are trying to regenerate and they are, um, same time, they are atrophic uh, crypts. So let's go at a higher power. So we are at the 40X. I'm trying to move here. Yeah, so um, see this, these scripts here, they are atrophic crypts. They are not the normal crypts that we used to see in normal mucosa, these are atrophic crypts, and this is also atrophic crypt. It's more and more atrophied, this one also more and more atrophied towards the ischemic, completely ischemic uh, part. Sometimes these crypts, they try to regenerate, and we may mistaken this kind of regeneration by dysplasia. So it's important to differentiate or to read uh, the patient chart and to differentiate these uh, cells. Of course, this is all hemorrhage here. And if we go to the affected area, I don't think we will see anything because it's all hemorrhage and blood vessels, edema, inflammatory cells, all these things to be found in the ischemic, completely ischemic part. On the high power here, we can also appreciate this hyalinized uh, lamina propria. Here, all this area is hyalinized lamina propria. 
Sometimes we may see uh, eosinophils, and of course you will see a lot of mitotic figures because this mucosa is trying to regenerate from the high power here. Also, we can see this destruction of the surface mucosal layer and trying to form or forming this pseudomembrane. Again, hyalinized lamina propria, destruction of the uh, surface mucosal layer with this pseudomembrane uh, formation. So this was the slide of ischemic uh, necrosis. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please like and share the video with others and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.